Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. As you know that we are discussing the argument structure in the English language and in this video we are moving forward to our first type of verb that is called the unaccusative verb. Before moving to our topic, I want to tell you that all the viewers, if you are new in our channel, please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for more updates about language and linguistics. And if you are interested in this field, let's talk about our first type of verb. In the previous video, I have told you that the argument structure is totally based on the verb what type of verb that you are taking if you are taking the one predicate verb it will take the one argument if you want to let the two predicate verb you have to choose the two arguments and in this video i want to tell you that what is the first type of verb and what are the properties of this type of verb in english language and see what is our first type of verb. Our first type of verb is unaccusative verb. First of all, you should know that what are the unaccusative types of verb. There are certain properties of unaccusative verb. First of all, the very crucial property is that it has the one argument frame in the previous video i have told you that there are abstract frames of the verb that the frame has a choice either in that frame we can put the agent role the theme role the experiential role the locative role or another type of role and this is the verb that has the one abstract frame that is the argument frame we can say that in simple verb this type of verb has one argument position and the second type of verb this is called the simple transitive verb and if we want to say that this is the simple transitive, intransitive verb. We can say that it, this verb only have the one argument. And if we want to say that it has the one argument, we must specify that what is the role that we assign this argument position. I think we can assign the agent role, the experiential role, or the theme role. And in this verb, the argument position is only assigned the theme role. And this is the point that you must pick that. The unaccusative verb that has the one role and that one role must be the theme role. And these verb has the option. These verb can be used in the their construction and more probably these verbs are called the movement verb, the locative verb, the location verb and these are the properties of the unaccusative verb but the crucial properties of this verb is it has the theme role and it because it has the one argument and if we have the one argument and we must assign that argument a role and that role is the theme role and how we can represent these verbs in the diagram first of all you should know that this is our diagram in this diagram we have the verb all accusative verb has the same diagram and because these verb has the one role that is the theme role this is the vh v bar vp and this we have the potential to assign the theme role at the 
external argument position because this is the external argument position and the external internal argument position is not specified because the frame of the unaccused verb is just like this and if we want to show the movement the location we can say that what will be our diagram how we can present the movement and the location for constructing these two property we have another option in syntax and what is this option this option is that this is the diagram of the second option if we have the verb that has the option of location we have the v the property of v is only the v and the one row that is the theme role this has the only one role that the theme role and it assign the tp the theme role and if we say that it has the location property the movement property we can say that at the bar node it has the pp and you know that the pp has potential to assign the role and here pp assign the locative row to the dps this is our second diagram and if we want to represent the frame of that particular verb that we have claimed that the unaccused verb the diagram of that unaccused verb is just like this if and only we have the location properties if we want to put the location in the sentence in every language we can say that an accusative verb can be just like this frame and the structure of the first an accusative verb is this because in these two diagram we have the one role that is the theme role in this diagram we have the one role one argument one role one argument one role and this role is the team role and this role is assigned by the v to the external argument position and we have the sentence the example in natural language we say that the snow settled this is the verb and this is the unaccused verb because this verb has the one theme role because this is not the agent this is the theme because this is in animate theme this is the snow and the snow is assigned only theme role this is not a person this is the theme role and we assign the snow the theme role and if we want to say that this verb can be used in the their construction of a natural sentence is just like this they suffered a disease in this diagram we have the one the one argumentative a disease we can say that a disease spreads the argument of this disease is one argument the v only has the one argument position and this is the theme position and we in this sentence we are not claiming that some person is, is spreading this disease we are only saying that they spread a disease and if we say that a disease spread we can say that we have the one argument the one theme and if we want to use this sentence into the their construction and this sentence can be used in the their construction because in the previous module we have discussed that these verb can be used in the their construction but the crucial property is that this verb has the one theme role and see how we can draw the sentence structure in english language see first the theme role the snow settled we have the v the frame of the v is just like this because the v 
unaccusative has the one theme role and this we assign this dp the theme role and in this way we generate the vp and over vp we have the ip and this ip has certain feature i have already told you that if you want to know you can subscribe our channel and you can visit our channel to know that what are the these characteristics of these ip and what are the features of this ip and this ip attaches to the verb because this is the weak this is the strong strong head triggers the weak head and takes at its position and this dp moves from this plate place and occupy this place and at this place our certain structure will be satisfied and if we have the option because these verb can be used in the movement and location we can adjust the pp the adjunct at the board level we can say that here the saturn the verb and if we say we have the pp at the bar node we have the pp but this v did not assign any role to the pp position because the distance of the this dp is very far from this place to that place so in this domain we have the one head that is the p and here p assign this dp the locative role is this is the potential of v and the further structure is generating the same way as we have have constructed this structure this is the solution of the unaccusative verb that we can use in natural language if you are working on any language you can find the solution from this video because in any language we have the types of word because this is the property of human being language is the property of human being and if you want to speak you have the intention and if you have the intention you must create the event the activity and in that activity you must have some person some things that involve the activity and the involvement this activity is controlled by the v and this first type of v is called an accusative verb and i have told you that what is the argument structure of the unaccusative verbs and how we can generate the syntactic structure if we have the unaccusative verb within the derivation thank you very much